Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to MG Guy Vintage Vehicles. Greg here again with another 10 vintage vehicles available for sale across North America for under $15,000. Why $15,000? I want to showcase running vehicles that the average person like myself can afford and enjoy. Some may need minor work such as brakes or a carb tune-up to be roadworthy, but these vehicles are pretty much ready to go. There may be blemishes, but you know what? That's okay. It's all about getting behind the wheel and going for a cruise in a car you love, not impressing the purists at the car show. Links for each of these vehicles are included in the video description below. Alright, enough jabbering. Let's get on with today's vehicles for sale. Okay, we're going to start with the 1968 AMC Rebel 770, listed for $13,000 US in Shelbyville, Kentucky. It's been driven 85,225 miles and has an automatic transmission. From the seller's description, 1968 AMC Rebel 770 inline six cylinder engine auto transmission. Runs great, nice car, garage kept. Car came from original owner to a guy that built it out for his son but his son wanted something else and I ended up with it. Here we have a 1974 Buick Apollo, listed for $12,000 US in Twin Valley, Minnesota. It's been driven 500 miles, okay, has an automatic transmission, very good condition, clean title, this vehicle has no significant damage or problems. From the seller's description, great show car, rebuilt motor and transmission, runs really well, power steering and power brakes, I don't need to sell, I just don't use it, no trades. 24,000 were made in this style in 74. All right, here we have a very nice looking 1963 Chevrolet Corvair convertible, listed for $9,980 Canadian in Blainville, Quebec. It's been driven 37,081 kilometers, has an automatic transmission, and from the seller's description, now this is a translation from French, 1963 Chevrolet Corvair automatic, runs very well, good tires.
here we have a 1963 Dodge 330, listed for $6,500 US in Angola, Indiana. It's been driven 82,750 miles and has an automatic transmission. From the seller's description, 1963 Dodge 330 with push button automatic. Originally a 318 polyhead car, but now has an early 60s 413 big block. The car runs and drives good. It has had the brakes gone over recently and stops as it should. It also has a sure grip differential, has been painted at some point and is very solid, including quarters, floors, and trunk. It's not perfect, but a presentable driver. Heater control valve started leaking, so I bypassed the heater and marked the price down. Okay, this one's a bit of a mishmash, so please pay attention to the description. 1951 Studebaker Champion Business Coupe, listed for $8,500 US in Mineola, Texas. It has an automatic transmission, clean title. This vehicle has no significant damage or problems. From the seller's description, rare 1951 Studebaker Business Coupe, 1949 from firewall back. Firewall to front is a 1951. It's registered as a 1949. Has cold AC, touchscreen radio with all the extras. Power brakes, tilt steering with power steering, turbine wheels. It's sitting on a 1989 S10 frame, three lamp headlights, nice car, $8,500 cash, no trades. All right, here we have a beautiful 1961 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia, listed for $10,800 in Santa Ana, California. It's been driven 124,242 miles and has an automatic transmission. From the seller's description, 1961 Carmen Ghia, nice exhaust, interior very good condition, BRM wheels, engine very good, clean title, drive every day, trade for Passat wagon, Jetta, etc. All trades welcome. All right, I know I'm biased as the MG guy, but this thing is gorgeous. 1972 MG Midget, listed for $8,000 US in Hammond Sport, New York. It's been driven 72,000 miles and has a manual transmission. From the seller's description, 1972 MG Midget, price is firm. Beautiful orange custom MG four speed, leather heated seats, CD player, new interior. And now for something a little different. 1951 DeSoto Suburban, listed for $12,500 US in Boone, Louisiana. It's listed as used fair condition in the seller's description. For sale, 1951 DeSoto Suburban, rare car with only 600 made in 51 and 12,000 made 46 to 52. Straight six with fluid drive with power brakes, but not hooked up. Runs and drives good. Has rust, but very solid for 74 years old. Many new parts, new pistons, rings, head surfaced, brakes gone through, carb rebuilt, plugs, thermostat, distributor vacuum, advanced, and more. Everything works except radio doesn't make noise, but powers up. Speedometer shows 107,000, not sure if correct. Comes with extra parts, trim, starter, generator, fuel pump, and other stuff. 
asking 12,500 or best offer or a possible trade. Okay, here we have a 1972 Chevrolet Vega Camback Wagon, listed for $13,500 US in Noble, Oklahoma. It has an automatic transmission, clean title, this vehicle has no significant damage or problems. From the seller's description, 1972 Vega Camback Wagon, 350 SBC, mild cam, forged pistons, Holly Sniper 660 619 fuel injected EFI, and the companion unit for the distributor, electronically controlled CD box, high low engine built for nitrous kit, power glide transmission, Dana 50 rear axle, five lug S10 spindles and brakes, Cooper Cobra tires. Vehicle is tagged and titled. Last but not least, 1973 Fiat 128, listed for $12,500 US in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's been driven 67,557 miles and has a manual transmission. From the seller's description, short and sweet, 1973 Fiat 128 Modelo runs good. Alright, so that's it for today's vehicles. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons so you'll be notified when future videos go live. This series of videos go live on YouTube every Sunday and Wednesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also post videos for project cars that I call Friday Fix Em Up, which go live every Friday at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to support the channel, please consider a channel membership. You can click the join button below or the link in the channel description and you'll have access to extra perks including early access to each and every video before they go live on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.